Okay, now that we have the sheets in place, fixed, cut, trimmed, um, we tape the overlaps and we do it with the Proclima Tescon Vana tape. It's an all, all round air tightness tape, but it can also be used on the externally. Um, so you could also use it for taping roofing membranes and stuff. So it's mainly for air tightness, but, but it can water. also, can, you can also use it on the outside. It's just not permanently UV resistant, so it always has to be covered after, you know, with, with um, uh, roofing, with tiles or slates or something like, you know, it's not to be left completely exposed, but you can use it on roofing membranes. The glue is watertight. Um, now, taping the overlaps is basically super easy, but there's still one or two little tricks and details um, to pay attention to. One is when you have to tape, a lot of people start trying to peel the liner or the paper from the back with the fingernail. This is kind of slow and often not working really. Um, the best way to do it is hold it in your hand, slide over it with your fingertip. It will stick to your fingertip and you can easily kind of peel it off. And then <coughs> you go on to the membrane and I said it before, the dotted line is giving you a good indication as where to place the tape. So I just start at the dotted line here, keep it a little low there, and you can already see if I pull too much now, you know, you, you're creating a bit of a pocket here. And if I was to tap it down here now, there's a lot of tension on the tape and it's not really following the membrane. So what you, what you don't do is peel the membrane, pull it, and lap it down. Instead, you want to follow, you really want to follow the line of membrane first, like that. And if you had creases or if there was a bit of um, slack. slack or something like, you know, you just, you just follow the membrane first. Like you're peeling it off, going along, following the dotted line, and so on and so forth. So the aim isn't for the tape to be as tight as it can be, it's for the tape to perfectly, again, mimic the mimic membrane. 100%, yeah. And I stop here now, leave you some. So I just cut it here. So that's the first step. And the next crucial and important step is um, that the initial pressure on the tape is what it makes it bond properly to the air tightness membrane. So it's really important to use one of those press fix um, and give it a really good rub. And again, following all of the tape. Now you could say, oh, I can do that with my hand, like, you know. But the thing is, if you rub it on with your hand, it's probably only three fingertips that are put applying the pressure and that only catches 50% of the tape surface so by having that press fix you get like 100% of it good rub and that gives it a good bond and you can pretty much go as hard as you like with that like. yeah you could yeah. pretty much go as hard as you like it's yeah strong. or as, as hard as you can I mean if the staples start popping you're probably too hard yeah. <laughs> yeah. and um, <clears throat> why is this all important now it's I had a job where we had kind of folds and crinkles and we had those pockets in behind the tape and um, they were sitting at something like three air changes or some in it around that I can't fully remember what I do remember is the client asked me to have a look at the job and I could see that the straight easy overlaps they had all those pockets so I spent about one and a half hours going along with the press fix and firstly kind of pushing the tape on properly and if I had too big of a pockets or folds, I would install an extra strip of tape. And just by doing that, the air tightness dropped by a full one. So we came from three air changes down to two air changes, which is quite a steep, like quite a lot of improvement. So for an hour of your time, or an hour and a half. Hour and a half, like yeah. you know, for yeah. Win. So yeah, look at there's nothing to it, not rocket science, super easy, but at the same time you know, one or two things to keep in mind, pay attention to.
Good. Nice. So, for the first time installing membranes and tapes, how hard is it? <laughs> it's, it's, you can tell, I think it's the same with the fabric and with the tape. It's a knack, like it's something you're just going to get the hang off over time. Just, you know, the holding this and pulling this and all that there, it's a little awkward. But I'm sure just, you know, time. I mean, that was your, that was your first time installing it. Um, if we were testing just, just this bit here, separately from everything else, you would already get an air tightness result of 0 0.1 air changes or something, which is six times better than Passivhaus requirement, which is the highest standard in the world. And uh, it took you, what, like 45 minutes to, to basically to get there, you it. know? Yeah. And um, I'd say like for <clears throat> getting the hang of it, you do like two, three jobs, and you just need to do it a couple of times on your own and yeah, kind of just get a little bit into it. I'd say as long as you pay attention, follow the steps, um, don't lose patience. Um, yeah, you achieve Passive House every time, wow. especially with Proxima products. <laughs>